welcome back to my channel so we are here for another episode of sisterly sentiments so i spoke to the guys about how to pay less in child support now i'm going to speak to the women about how to get more in child support now these i don't i don't agree with every method i'm going to say but they are methods so let's just talk about it so the very first step is you have to get pregnant by a man who has money or at least tell a man that that has money that is his child like you can lie about it if you want however you choose to do it that's what you do but that's the key find a man with money and then get pregnant you can't get pregnant by a broke dude and then expect to get more than uh you know two three hundred dollars a month of child support you're not getting no money so i would say for the women who are uh who are earning on the lower end you want to find a man who's making about you know 70 80 90 thousand somewhere around there 100 somewhere in that range that's jackpot that should be your target market you should not be talking to anybody that makes less than that if you make no money and you want a come up that's how you do it or if you you know if you can find yourself in certain circles go find you a, a, a nfl dude you know an athlete some type of athlete pull a britney renner because athletes are dumb and if you get a black athlete now you didn't hit the jackpot because a lot of times you know I, I hate to say it but it's just easy to finesse black men all you have to do is have a body and be super sexual and you can finesse him now he may not fall in love with you right you're not looking for love you're looking for a check so if you're looking for love that's not this is not the video for you but if you're looking to get paid go find an athlete get pregnant that's what you do now if you are a woman who makes over 100,000 I honestly I'm telling you right now I'm not having a child by a man who makes less than 170 I can't it doesn't make sense you know I can be in a relationship with someone who makes less than 170 but I refuse to have a child so if you're a woman who makes over one hundred thousand dollars i would say between 150 160 somewhere in that range and up that's what you go for if you're looking to have you know be in a position where you get child support because you mess around and don't let you be a woman making a hundred thousand hundred ten hundred twenty hundred and thirty and you get pregnant by a man who's making forty or fifty thousand you mess around you might be paying him child support and i see nothing wrong with a man getting child support from a woman if she is the high earner it just is what it is so women you have to protect yourself and i see a lot of women that move smart they they they're careful you know when they're higher earners i'm proud of my girls when i see the men that are higher earners you guys are totally reckless and very very stupid but back to the conversation at hand another way that you can get more in child support make sure that you have those children with you more times than not so if he gets the children every other weekend you're going to get more as opposed to if he got them every weekend if you're taking the children to school and you are you have a primary physical custody of the kids then you're going to get more if it is a 50 50 split you're going to get money but you're not going to get as much as if you had the kids for a majority of the time so just keep the kids with you especially if you're about to go to court or you know you're about to file maybe five six months before you file go ahead and make sure you keep those kids with you and have it documented that he only gets them every other weekend that's no time at all so now before you guys go to court you would want to take off as much time as you can like don't don't be killing the overtime now would be the time to let the bills do what the bills do do not be trying to kill the overtime do not worry about going in on your off day you need to be chilling because you need to reduce your income so that you can get more of his income so before you go to court no overtime for like months months before you go to court now if he has a lot a lot of money get him to sign the birth certificate for the child whether it's his child or not whatever that's you know that's a moral issue for a moral conversation this is not a morality conversation this is a get to the bag conversation so you get him to sign the birth certificate either by the truth or to buy a lie whatever you do that's your business um if you guys are in a relationship the children are older you could always have him adopt your children switch their names over i mean it worked for Lori harvey's mama and a whole bunch of other famous people so that's how you do it if a man has money you get him to adopt your children now your children become just to his money and he is also financially responsible for those children that's the way to do it now my girl another thing that you have to stay up on are the raises when they get a raise you need to be going and petitioning the court to get an increase there's no need to argue and hoop and holler and all the rest of that that's key so um you know you don't have to do them very often but you definitely have to do them now another thing is uh a lot of women i've seen women do this and i'm just like oh they they definitely get in the bag because had i been in a relationship with the man absolutely not he would i wouldn't even play this game with him so you know the saying you attract more bees with honey so try to better y'all's relationship so that y'all aren't at so much of war 
And then what happens is you can get the situation where he pays child support and he gives you money on top of child support. I think those are the biggest suckers in the world. Like I think, oh my gosh, I, there's no way. I, here's the deal. I'm not dating a man who does that at all. And I'll do a video about men to stay away from. And that's one of them. A man who pays child support, but then he's also giving that woman extra money because, well, I'm not going to get into that on this video, but that right there, stay away from those men. But if you are a woman and you want more child support, maybe you might not be able to get that increase to the courts but if you and him can work it out i don't know what you have to do i can tell you a couple things to do but anyway you do those things whatever it is that it takes y'all strengthen y'all's relationship and then he'll be paying you child support and he'll be giving you money on top of the child support and he'll be buying the kids stuff and you still getting your check and the check goes straight to you that's the perfect finesse stop always arguing with that man maybe if y'all got along you would have more money in your pocket so those are a couple of the things that you need to keep in mind Moral of the story, find you a dumb athlete because they're all out there. If you're any bit of what these people call the exoticals or anything like that, go ahead and finesse you on these stupid ass black boys. It's real easy. Just make sure that he has money and make sure he's not driving around in a fancy car and walking around in suits, but he's dead broke. He has to have money coming in. A source of income that show that it's been sustained over time. That's what he's gonna have to have coming in. So don't be going out here having kids getting pregnant by a man because he's flashy. That's just stupid, all right? Now make sure you guys get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think and we will do this again next time.